my name is Heather and welcome to my channel Heather Forever Books and I feel like I have not been behind the camera in a really long time and that's because I haven't because I went to California and then I got sick and now I'm on the mend so this might be a little rough but we're just gonna get started um, I'm coming at you today with my December book haul my true love gave to me uh, edited by Stephanie Perkins it's actually an anthology of a ton of young adult authors including but not limited to Stephanie Perkins who edited it uh, Rainbow Rowell Jenny Han all 12 stories take place during the holidays either Christmas or New Year's, those kinds of things. So I am about a third of the way through this um, and I'm enjoying it. So I'm trying to finish it before the end of the year because I don't think I'll be in the mood to read a kind of book like this um, after the new year. Next book in my December book haul is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, I have no idea what this is about. But I picked it up because I have been obsessed with Rainbow Rowell recently. Um, I've loved every single book that I've read by her. So I literally saw this on Book Outlet and I was like, Rainbow Rowell. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Now this book is about a, it's kind of Chinese folklore about a village where everyone is deaf, so everyone communicates via sign language. Now the problem is a lot of the people in the village are going blind. So the main character suddenly wakes up with her hearing back. Now it's a really, really short book and I really enjoyed the premise of it. I'll tell you more about it in my December wrap up. Um, I have actually already read it. It's so short, I read it in like a day. So anyway, interesting premise. I knew there was a love interest. So that's pretty much all you need to know about that. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Now the premise of this is a princess on her wedding day runs away. It's a fantasy and the prince who she was supposed to marry goes after her as well as an assassin who is sent to kill her. Um, and so there's a love triangle and there's a bit of magic and I don't know, it was recommended by Sasha from A Book Utopia and she said there was a twist and that, I don't know, the premise intrigued me. So I have read it and you'll hear more about it in my December wrap up. Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I really don't know that much about it. Um, I know that it is a sci-fi, futuristic, alien invasion kind of thing, but what really interests me about it is how it's, I don't know, how it's put together. Like there's instant message conversations, there's these weird, I don't know, it's just interesting. The, I don't really know how to describe it. I really don't know much about it going into it. All I know is that it's put together really weirdly and the cover is kind of cool and that's, that's all I know. So <laughs> I will let you know how I like it. I do plan on reading it in January. Strands of Bronze and Gold um, by Jane Nickerson and it is a Bluebeard fairy tale retelling. So, yeah, I don't know. I saw it, I have heard nothing about it, and I wanted to read it. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Now, a couple of years back, I actually read an excerpt of this in a Glamour magazine and thought that it read, sounded really interesting. I think it was the first chapter. And I read the first chapter and I was really interested in it, but I never wrote down the title, like I never remembered to pick it up. And then I heard some cool things about it on booktube recently and I saw it on book outlet and I picked it up. So I'm really excited to read this. It is takes place in the future. It's like an urban fantasy, basically. Um, Paige, the main character, is a dream walker, a rare kind of clairvoyant. And I don't know, she's trying to escape law or something. I don't know much about it, but it sounds really cool from what I know. I know there's a sequel out called The Mime Order, so I don't know. I'm just trying to delve into books that I wouldn't normally pick up, I think, for the new year, so that's about it. Um, I do want to say that I have been obsessed with Book Outlet this month. Um, I heard about it from Reagan from Peru's Project and I know she gets a lot of her books there. I 
highly recommend it. I mean, you can find some really popular books for like just a few dollars. It's insane. And what I like about it is books that I like wouldn't normally pick up, like I wouldn't normally want to pay full price for it, but I kind of want to read it. So I, you know, every once in a while I'll look on Book Outlet and see what they have, um, any new arrivals and all that. So I don't I am not feeling good. I am feeling low on energy. Ugh, it's my sinus infection. Anyway, you guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.